I love to get things done. I love to be productive in the day, cut through all the tasks that need to be done. But my brain does not share the same sentiment as me. It loves to procrastinate. It loves to slow everything down, stop me from getting all these things done and really cut into my productivity for the day. But I'm not gonna present you with a problem like that without giving you a solution. So I'll be giving you an answer to this problem of procrastination. Drum roll, please. The Pomodoro technique, yay. The Pomodoro technique cuts right at the root of procrastination. It kills the weed at its base. And the main problem that I find myself and many other people have with procrastination is actually starting a project. You receive your essay, your six page essay. It's a great example. And what's the hardest thing about this six page essay? It's not planning it out. It's not the knowledge you need to put onto the sheet. It's not the actual amount of time it's going to take you to do this essay. It's actually starting it, putting pen to paper. A lot of writers have this writer's block. They can't start. They find it very hard. It's because your brain perceives this task as a really big one. But luckily, the Pomodoro technique can help us deal with this. So how do we actually do the Pomodoro technique? It's very simple, guys, actually. So you want to get one task, set your eyes on one task. We'll go with the example of the six page essay. We have this six page essay. Our task is to get it started or to get it done, either or. We'll say to get it done. So you have your task. The next thing you want to do is you want to set a timer for 25 minutes, just 25 minutes. Easy guys, am I right? So you set your timer for 25 minutes and during this 25 minutes, I want you to work your ass off. I want you to concentrate and focus on that task as intensely as you can during those 25 minutes. And then after these 25 minutes end, your alarm goes off, you know, you'll hear it. You want to take a five minute break. And then after that, you want to repeat that cycle four more times. So you want to go 25 minutes, five minute break. One, two, three, and then on the fourth one, you want to take a 15 minute break. And then you rinse and repeat, you do the 25, five minute, four, in these four minute chunks separated by 15 minute breaks. And one important thing guys, I almost forgot to mention is during your 25 minutes of concentration, make sure you have all your phone and everything switched off. Make sure you have the, it on airplane mode so you're not getting any notifications. But if your brain, you know, the cheeky little fella is trying to get you to procrastinate, trying to get you to check social media, you want to have something ready for that. And you want to have a piece of paper. And as soon as one of those problems, one of those distractions comes into your head, write it down on the piece of paper. This will help get it out of your head and store it up and put it on a piece of paper so you can do it later on if you really want. But you'll probably look back at it and think, damn, that's pretty stupid. But you got your piece of paper. So that will really help you with distractions. I'm not just gonna leave you there with the Pomodoro technique. I'll have to explain why it actually works. So why is the Pomodoro technique so effective? It's because as we said, as we all agreed, starting is extremely hard for the human brain. It sees as an unsurmountable task. It sees as a huge mountain, something that can't be climbed or passed. So the brain starts to panic. It looks for easier things to do, like going on social media, going down the rabbit hole on YouTube, burning up all this precious time. But how does the Pomodoro technique combat this? Instead of seeing the task as a huge insurmountable problem, when you present it with 25 minutes of just uh, writing something, say for the essay, you've got the six page essay, you see it as something huge. When you present the brain, with 25 minutes and say, you're saying to yourself, I'm only, just, I just have to write for 25 minutes. Easy, eh? Your brain's like, oh, that's grand. And you're a lot more likely to start because you're only going to see 25 minutes of work. And you can think, oh, I can just stop after that 25 minutes of work. And at least I got something done. And that is how it helps you to start. Your brain thinks, damn, this is easy. And you'll get into the flow. You don't have to continue with the actual time increments within the 
Pomodoro technique. You don't have to keep on doing 25 minute, 25 minute, 25 minute. Instead, you can just continue working. Again, once you're in that flow, maybe you don't want to stop or break it up. You can just keep riding and before you know it, you'll be finished. Another thing you can try with the Pomodoro technique, guys, is don't you don't have to stick with the 25 minute rule, boys. It, you can play around with it. 25 minutes is not a golden rule that will work for every single human being. Make it bigger, make it smaller. I personally like to set five minute increments, it's something you have been trying. I do like three different things at the same time. I do five minute, five minute, five minute, five minute. I switch the task every five minutes and then I repeat, repeat, repeat. And I do that till I've worked up all these little five minute blocks into about an hour and then I take my 15 minute break. I find it helps keep me very focused because I can focus intensely for these five minute blocks. Um, but that's really it guys. Um, the Pomodoro technique, it'll really help you get those lengthy projects done, the ones that seem impossible to start. It'll get your ass on that horse and you can start riding away to victory, getting all those product, being very productive and getting all those things done. I hope you enjoyed this chunky ass video today, guys. I enjoyed making it. Hit that like button if you share my sentiments and if you're new here and you wanna join the big boy army, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you another time, boys. Peace.